a lot of the reviews you read of kayaks are done after a trip or two. Well, I'm going to give you an update after the third full season in this Jackson Cusa FD. Stay tuned. Two years ago, at the end of the first season of using this Cusa FD, I did a comprehensive review where I pointed out, I think, 19 positives and 11 negatives about this boat. So how do I feel about it after three seasons? Well, I'm not going to go into the same level of detail. I'll link that up up above, and I'm just going to hit the couple high points to keep this video brief. And I'll start with the biggest negative and the biggest positive I see in this boat. The biggest positive has to be the flex drive itself and its arrangement on the boat. In particular, two things. First, I love having this access hatch right here to where I can clear the propeller, <laughs> leaf in there, the clear the propeller when anything gets tied up in it. And that happens to me quite a bit because I fish where there's plenty of seaweed. While we're up here above, before I go to, down below, one of the things I did notice on the drive unit is after three seasons in heavy saltwater use, it has become eroded. The finish has chipped off, and a lot of the paint has gone away, but the drive unit itself still works just fine and is smooth once you do the annual maintenance, which requires uh, stuffing marine grease into these two holes right here. Now let's go below for the key positive thing that would make me buy this kayak again. This is the bottom of the drive unit and the key advantage of this is that it will pop up and automatically retract when you hit anything. And it has a low operational mode as well as a deeper operational mode. So if you're in shallow water, you can run shallow, but even then if you hit something, it all retracts. And I can't tell you what a fantastic feature that is, especially where I fish, where I run in the sandbars and oyster beds all the time. I think that it would be so frustrating to have to pull the entire drive unit out to clear the prop. So if there's one feature that would make me buy the kayak again, that's it. The other major positive, before I get into the negatives, is the stability of the boat. It's nice and wide, and I have no problem standing up. Now, I do have to admit, I still have to practice a little bit in terms of the balance if I'm going to throw my cast net while standing in the boat. But I think that's more me rather than the boat. Now let's get into the negatives. First, the knit negative. The boat comes with a slide out tray and it, you can see in my other video, it's just useless. So what I did is I just replaced it with a container top and now I've got the full function I need. The other negative, before I get into the biggest one, is the seat itself. While the material on the seat is totally robust, there's been no erosion of this material at all, the big negative of the seat is that it needs more lumbar support. And I had to go make a hack out of a stadium seat to get the lumbar support I needed. Now let's get into the huge negative that I had to overcome. The steering on the boat is hard to operate. Uh, I had to replace it with this lever and pulley system right here, but basically it was two uh, long metal bars with a small knob that you would move back and forth. And the knob was not only hard to grab, but the uh, friction on the bar going back and forth, back to the rudder, was substantial. So it was very hard to steer, and you can see how easy it is with the hack that I installed to overcome that. Another big negative on the original model was that it did not track well. And the reason was that the rudder was a lot smaller than the upgraded rudder that I was able to buy and install on my original model. All the current ones, of course, will come with this, 
but you can see how much larger this is and that allows for the tracking to be so much better. In addition, the boat will turn much tighter as a result of having more uh, push against the water as you turn. Huge improvement. Those are the highlights. You can see all the little nits and, and bits in that earlier video, but if you just want the big picture on whether this boat is right for you, well, of course, you got to demo it yourself, but the positives on this boat far outweigh the negatives, even with the nits. I tell you, this uh, flex drive unit is smooth, and that retractable rudder is the absolutely key feature that I don't think I could live without. So if you're considering the Jackson Cusa FD, you know, take those items into account. Be sure to sit in the seat to see if you can deal with that and exercise the steering a little bit to decide whether you want to install a hack like I did or just go with what the manufacturer provides. If you guys have been using the Cusa FD for the last couple of years, I'd be interested to hear what your perspective is on this boat. I tell you, well worth the money I spent on it for where I fish. Throw your comments down below. Thanks.